there are basically three models that can be um, adopted uh, in the negotiation by Britain. Uh, and we've talked and about that. Yes, and exactly. it on but what is your gut feeling? Do you think Britain would be punished? Do you think its value would be regarded and understood? What is your sense then? It's very difficult to say because Article 50 of the Treaty of the European Union just says that the negotiations are going to take uh, two years and then by unanimity they can be extended. But if there is no unanimity, they will not be extended. So within two years, Britain can achieve whatever it can achieve. And then we will be left uh, with the result of the negotiations. Uh, so uh, it's difficult to say. Uh, but for us, Britain is, is a very important trading partner. You talked about the 800,000 Poles yes. that are resident uh, and working in Britain. What was your understanding of their sense of how the campaign went, the tone of the campaign? Uh, more than 80% of Poles here uh, supported uh, Remain, <laughs> uh, for obvious reasons. Um, in the campaign we had um, a mixture of, of different sentiments and feelings and some uh, um, of hope and optimism, but also you some, some rejection fear. Or... fear and rejection and misconception, yes, yes, especially about immigration. Yes, I would say so, that uh, um, this subject uh, perhaps was not treated uh, with a lot of objectivity. Ambassador Sokov, thank you very much thank for you. joining us. We have another result, David.